Hello, boys and girls. As mentioned earlier, abnormal voltage transformers mainly affect relay protection. What are the specific principles and measures for handling this problem? Let's learn and explore together. Principle one: the on-duty dispatcher re receives a report from the on-duty operator of the station stating that a certain section of the 220 kilovolts bus bar at the station is being handled. After the secondary disconnection of the voltage transformer, it is prohibited to take measures, such as voltage secondary parallel connection and the bus reversing, until the fault point of the voltage secondary circuit is determined. In order to prevent the occurrence of short circuits in the voltage secondary circuit. And prevent the simultaneous loss of power in the two bus voltage secondary circuits. After the secondary circuit fault of the auxiliary power voltage transformer, active tra measures should be taken to eliminate the fault as soon as possible. Thirdly, the on-duty operator of the factory should immediately notify the relay protection professional of the unit to handle it. After discovering the secondary disconnection of a 220 kilovolts bus voltage transformer, after the defect treatment is completed, the relevant relay protection equipment that has been withdrawn should be re reapplied for operation. Handling measures: Firstly, for the protection of 220 kilovolts lines. The handling measures of configuring dual high frequency protection for 220 kilovolts lines. A. It only if only one set of 220 kilovolts line protection device issues a voltage circuit disconnection alarm. The high frequency of the protection device that triggered the alarm will be exited. The parentheses will correspond to the distance of the highest frequency main protection on the opposite side. Zero sequence protection and single phase protection will still be applied to the comprehensive heavy load. B, both side both sets of 220 kilovolts line protection devices have issued voltage circuit disconnection alarms. With the permission of relevant leaders, the line can be stopped, and or the alarm side switch of the line of protection can be disconnected. Secondly, the 220 kilovolts line is equipped with a set of high frequency protection and a set of fiber optic differential protection as processing measures. A, if only the high Frequency protection device of the 220 kilo kilovolts line sends a voltage circuit disconnection alarm. The high frequency of the protection device that has exited the alarm will be correspondingly exited, and the distance zero sequence protection of the high frequency main protection on the opposite side will still be switched to single phase. For comprehensive protection, B, if only the fiber optic differential protection device for 220 kilovolts transmission lines sends a voltage circuit disconnection alarm, the distance zero sequence protection of the alarm protection device will be exited. The fiber optic differential main protection will still be put into operation. And the comprehensive protection will be put into single phase operation. C, both sets of 220 kilovolts line protection devices have issued a voltage circuit disconnection alarm, and the high frequency protection device that exits the high frequency protection device is correspondingly exited. The distance zero sequence protection of the opposite side. High frequency main protection is exited, and the distance zero sequence protection of the fiber optic protection device is exited.
The fiber optic differential main protection is still in operation, and the dual set protection is fully switched to single phase. Third, measures for configuring dual sets of fiber optic differential protection on 220 kilovolts transmission lines. A. If only one set of 220 kilovolts line fiber optic differential protection device issues a voltage circuit disconnection alarm, the distance zero sequence protection of the protection device that has exited the alarm will still be switched to single phase for comprehensive protection. B. The dual sets of 220 kilovolts transmission line fiber optic differential protection devices have issued voltage circuit disconnection alarms. The distance zero sequence protection of the dual sets of fiber optic protection devices has been removed, and the fiber optic differential main protection can still be put into operation. The dual sets of protection have been switched back to single phase. Second, for the 220 kV bus bar protection, the 220 kV bus bar protection sends a voltage circuit disconnection alarm, and the 220 kV bus bar differential protection can still operate correctly. At this time, only the complex voltage locking function of the bus bar protection is lost. If the bus bar protection is not working at, the, at this time, and there is no possibility of accidental collision, no adjustment is needed. Third, 220 kV transformer protection. The 220 kV transformer protection issues a voltage circuit disconnection alarm, and the differential protection of the main transformer can still operate correctly. However, it is necessary to exit the backup protection related to the voltage of the main transformer or adapt the logic function of voltage blocking on other sides according to the on-site operation regulations. Finally, let's think about the problem together. Before determining the fault situation of the voltage secondary circuit, the reason for prohibiting the use of voltage secondary parallel connection and bus reversing measures is mainly due to the short circuit in the voltage secondary circuit, which leads to the simultaneous loss of power in both sections of the bus voltage secondary circuit. That's all for this lesson. Thank you.